My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. I recognize that it is in difficult circumstances that I have been regularly addressing you in this manner. But even in these circumstances, it does bring me joy that at least we are able to communicate in this manner. I pray that these days have allowed you to begin to settle into a bit of a new rhythm of life. The last few weeks certainly brought unexpected and unprecedented challenges to all of us here in the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau and around the world. Today, I'm sure many of us are in a variety of places in our hearts. Whether you are concerned at the spread of the virus, worried about the health of a loved one, stressed from the transition to online schooling, or even a little bit at peace from the slower pace of life. I want to acknowledge that we each respond to situations such as this differently, and that's okay. I have had the opportunity to hear from many of you, and I want you to know that your church hears you and is with you. All of the priests of our diocese and I have been praying intentionally for you, thinking of you, and offering our private masses for you each day. After much consideration, Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau has decided to modify the food distribution programs at the Good Samaritan Food Bank in Thibodeau, the Good Samaritan Food Bank in Raceland, and the Catholic Community Center in Galliano in order to protect the community, our volunteers, and staff during this time of pandemic concern and national emergency declaration. To better comply with the recommendations for social distancing and the governor's orders, the food banks will no longer hold public distributions. However, to ensure that those in vulnerable populations continue to safely receive the food assistance they need, the food banks are working with the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office and Second Harvest Food Bank to find new ways for food to be distributed to those who need it. Additionally, our diocesan Catholic charities is continuing to accept applications for emergency assistance for rent and utilities as a part of their individual and family assistance program. In addition, the Assisi Bridge House is continuing to provide counseling and education to its current residents. And other Catholic Charities programs, such as Catholic Housing Services and the Foster Grandparents Program, remain in contact with their ongoing clients and volunteers. As this situation continues to unfold, Catholic Charities remains in constant communication with our church parishes and other community partners to assess the needs of the people of our diocese and then to respond accordingly to the best of their ability to do so. Please leave a message at Catholic Charities at 985-876-0490 if you are in need of assistance or would like to suggest areas of need that may need to be addressed. During this unprecedented time in our lives, our Catholic school families are some of the most directly impacted by the necessary changes in their daily schedules. So many of you are an integral part of our church's important ministry of Catholic education. Our current situation impacts our students, their families, our administrators, faculties, and staffs of our 12 Catholic schools. In an effort to prepare for the possibility of an extended school closure, 
our administrators, faculty, and staff members worked diligently to put into action their distance learning plans so that our Catholic school students would be able to continue learning and earning credit for their hard work this school year. Our superintendent and I are extremely proud of the work that was done for the many children we serve. I am equally proud of the effort put forth by our students and their families to make distance learning possible in their homes. I know none of this came easily, but our people stepped up to the challenge in a very positive way. Our teachers are so proud of our students as they embrace this new challenge with enthusiasm, an enthusiasm that our God gives to his children in times of challenge, in times of need. Times like these are unprecedented. And I thank all of you for your patience, your prayers, and your efforts to support our Catholic school families as they continue to learn and grow during this time at home. We encourage you to continue to communicate virtually with your child's school and to contact them if you need assistance in any way. As you are aware, I have suspended all public masses to adhere to the recommendations of our government leaders who have asked that we limit gatherings to no more than 10 people. This includes funeral masses. However, all of our cemeteries are still allowing burials, but with strict guidelines that include proper social distancing and hygiene protocol. Only 10 individuals may gather around a grave site at a time, inclusive of the priest and the funeral director. Most families agree to only send eight family members to the cemetery, but this is not always the case. For those families with numerous family members wanting to be present during the burial, we are suggesting sending them in groups. While one group is gathered at the gravesite, the other members should remain in their vehicles. Although this is not an ideal situation, it is our only solution considering our current situation. Our goal is to continue to serve our parishioners while still following the guidelines of the CDC and our government leaders. If you are in need of assistance or further clarification, please call the Office of Cemeteries at 985-227-6066. And please also note that many pastors are offering memorial masses at a later date for those who would prefer that option at this time. My brothers and sisters, I pray that this information has been helpful to you as we continue to move forward together. Our parish priests are offering a variety of ministry support to continue to build up the kingdom of God. Some are providing daily and Sunday masses online, while others are offering drive-up adoration and confession. While our parishes are doing all that they can to continue to serve our parishioners, we ask that if you are able, please prayerfully consider continuing your offertory support to your parish, even if in an adjusted way. Our parishes rely on the financial generosity of our people to continue their mission and to bring hope to our people. It is in times like this that we rely heavily on the support of our people. Now more than ever, our parishes need your prayers and your financial generosity. 
many of our parishes are offering online giving as a safe and secure way to continue your support. You can also mail in your envelope to the parish. You can find the address for your parish church on our diocesan website. And for parishes who do not currently include an online giving option on their parish website, the diocesan website is providing you the opportunity to direct your financial gift directly to your parish. Simply click the coronavirus button on our webpage and then click the donate button and you will be taken to the place on the website where you can give to your individual church parish. I sincerely want to thank you for your prayers and for your generosity during this difficult time. Please be assured of my continued prayers for each one of you. I want to remind you that all of our Catholic churches are open each day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for your own personal prayer. My brother priest and I will continue to offer Mass privately each day for you and for your intentions, longing, longing for that joyful day when we will all celebrate together physically once again. Many of our priests are live streaming their masses and other prayer devotions every day on Facebook. HTV Channel 10 is also airing masses as well as our informative videos every day from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. My brothers and sisters, I encourage you to unite yourselves spiritually to those sacrifices, begging God to continue to pour an abundance of grace upon all of us. Be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers for you and for your loved ones during these trying days. I humbly ask that you also please remember me in your prayers before the Lord. Know of God's nearness to you, especially during these times of difficulty. May the Lord, who draws close to the brokenhearted, be near to us as we continue our Lenten journey together. May God bless you this day and every day, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>